ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 15th day of May. Very moist air mass in place. Look out for more showers and storms today and tomorrow. And then a nice shot of cooler air drops in here uh, by early next week and drier air. Here's a look at some of the Skycam shots early this morning. First off from Gadsden, overlooking the lights of the city. And by golly, we're starting to notice a little daylight now at 5 o'clock in the morning. As the days keep on stretching out, we're about one month away from the summer solstice, the longest day of the year in terms of the number of daylight hours. Pretty much the same deal coming from the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. That is looking east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And there's the Jasper Sky Cam on top of the uh, King Building right across the street from the Walker County Courthouse. Water vapor satellite shot this morning. The core of the stronger winds aloft still north of here, but a trough will be evolving over the east. And we think that will push some dry air down in here by early next week. Uh, this morning, got a pretty nice little convective mass over North Mississippi around Oxford. And uh, that's just a sign of the moisture out there. We think we'll see numerous showers and storms later today. But probably nothing organized in terms of severe weather. The primary uh, risk is from West Texas up to near Chicago and Indianapolis. And that would include places like Oklahoma City, Kansas City, and St. Louis. Tomorrow, just a couple of small slight risk areas, one from West Virginia up to New York, the other over the far southwestern part of Texas. And the QPF chart, rain for the next five days. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one inch here. And this is valid through Tuesday evening. We figure most spots will pick up one to two inches of rain in coming days with a, a slow-moving front. We'll look at the GFS. This is valid at 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars. And again, the uh, trough beginning to evolve over the Plain States. Down below, a very soupy air mass over the entire southeast U.S. So uh, this afternoon, we're expecting scattered to numerous showers and storms. Same deal tomorrow. Uh, it should be a relatively wet day. The surface boundary is still well to the north. Sunday, there's your trough over the east, looking pretty good. The surface boundary a little faster on this run. It's got the thing moving into uh, north Alabama by uh, 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. And if this is right, the rain should be tapering off during the day. And Sunday should be noticeably cooler with highs only in the 60s over north Alabama. And we'll probably trend our forecast in that direction. And then Monday of next week, we go dry. Should be a beautiful day. We should start the day in the upper 40s. Won't that feel good? With a high close to 70. Tuesday looks good. Dry weather. We note the unsettled conditions in the Gulf. And look at Wednesday. The GFS depicts a surface low near Fort Myers. Could that be Tropical Storm Anna? A not totally out of the question. The water temps are mostly above 80 now in the Gulf. There's Thursday. Our tropical system moves toward the central Gulf Coast and rain moves up into Alabama. And then Friday, the tropical system is centered around Lake Pontchartrain with very wet weather across the deep south. Now, look, we all know how bad the GFS can be with tropical systems a week in advance. That, number one, it might not develop. And number two, it might wind up somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic. We just don't know that yet. But the idea is on the table. Just the idea. And we'll jump out there one week to the 30th of May, the end of the month, and we've got a trough over the east. And uh, we'll see. Again, uh, more than likely, weather systems out there are pretty uh, hard to define for this part of Alabama is the core of the westerly stay up north. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.